working with Onshape's configuration input tables is similar to working in any other spreadsheet application. Let's recreate the flange size list input and rename the table. To reorder multiple tables, select the overflow icon and choose move up or move down. In this case, I want the flange size input to be on the top. This reorders the tables and the inputs in the configuration selector. Next, I will choose the configurable parameters. In this case, the two variables defining the OD and ID. I have a spreadsheet I want to copy and paste into this table. To do this, I need to be sure the number of rows in my list match the number of rows in my spreadsheet. To duplicate rows, right click on a row and select Duplicate Row. Once the table has the correct number of rows, I can copy the needed cells from the spreadsheet. Then I can click into the cell with the default name and press Ctrl V on the keyboard to paste, or Command V on a Mac. To navigate between the cells, use the arrow keys on the keyboard. I want to add one more row to define an OD of 6.5 inches and an ID of 1 inch for one additional configuration. Pressing Enter applies any changes made in the cell, and the arrow keys navigate to other cells. To update the spreadsheet with the new row, select the overflow icon and choose Copy Table. Then, in the spreadsheet, I can paste the copied table. To reorder configurations, right-click on the row and select Move Up or Move Down. Configurations and entire tables can be deleted. To delete a configuration, right-click on the row and choose Delete Row. To delete an entire table, select the overflow icon and choose Delete. As you can see, working with input tables is very familiar to any spreadsheet application.